because there's nothing immediately out here. A lot of times you just have to read the linebacker. Is he gonna cut you off? Like right here, he just comes right up the middle. There's nothing cutting me off out of here. So I can basically just sprint outside. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new scheme for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys an offense and a money play that is taking Madden 22 by storm. I'm seeing a ton of pro players complaining on how broken this play is. So if you guys don't know about this play, I'm going to break it down for you. But I'm also going to break down the entire offensive scheme because, to be honest with you, this play, as good as it is, there's so many great plays you can use around this. The first time that I actually put out a scheme from the formation I'm going to show you guys today was probably when I started my channel in Madden 16. This is one of the most overpowered formations going all the way back to them. The formation that I'm talking about is the single back wing pair. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. The Kansas City Chiefs is a playbook that I don't really spend a lot of time in. It's not my favorite. I did put out a offensive scheme from the wing flex close and I know it's one of the favorite formations out there, one of the favorite playbooks out there. So I'm trying Woo! to do more of that. If you guys want to see more Kansas City Chiefs uh, offense, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. So I'm going to show you guys four plays, two pass plays, two run plays. The run play, and I could make this video just about that, is the power O. This is one of the most over power run plays in the game pretty much every year. I think the first time I put this out was maybe one or two men's ago. You can see I've run this play 41 times, average 14 yards a carry. This is one of the best run plays year after year. I think the first time I put this out was either a year or two ago. It's typically in the Saints. It's also in the Steelers a lot of times. Uh, I didn't know it was in the Chiefs, but that's the reason I chose this playbook aside from the fact that I've had a lot of requests for Chiefs. So I'm going to show you guys all four. I'll show you the uh, the way that I would run my audibles. The power row is definitely the most explosive. I would have that in there. The halfback inside zone is definitely one of the better run plays uh, as well. Uh, as far as the pass play goes, the tight end attack is the passing play that I was talking about. This is the play that everybody's having trouble stopping. Like I said, I know me personally, I first put this play and this scheme out from the Raiders playbook, I think last year, and it was a very good formation. I didn't have a lot of people that believed me, but now apparently everybody's running this play, so that's a, I'm just giving you guys a reason to stay uh, tuned to this channel because I'm that far ahead of the curve. I'm a year ahead of the curve when it comes to some of these plays. The last play is going to be the PA tight end seed. This one here might actually be my favorite. As far as the two pass plays go, they're both pretty unstoppable and that's probably going to be the clickbait for this particular video these are unstoppable passing plays because they really are when i show you the scheme setups you're going to agree that there's really no defensive stops either one of these plays we're going to start off this particular video uh with some of the pass plays and the first pass play is the one that i'm talking about that everybody's having trouble with and that's the tight end attack so let's go ahead and let's choose that on the defensive side we're just going to match and go random 4-3 now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and you discount code money to get three percent off but you can also use discount code email which is a current promotion running the entire year so anything you want to buy any other products if you use discount code email you'll get six percent off which still helps out this channel so either way i appreciate you guys for doing that now as far as this play goes there's really no setup that's one of the things i mean there are some setups i can show you guys but there's really no setup when it comes to just running this play a lot of people really like the running back uh the tight ends are really key obviously i mean i'm not really going to spend too much time on the receiver all the way on the left. Now, as far as, you know, if I were to make adjustments, I could put the X route here on a comeback for man beater or an out route. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I could put them on a slant to come across. There's any number of things I can do there, but realistically, you don't really have to make any adjustments. I will actually make that a cover two play in a moment, but ultimately this is pretty much going to be the setup. As you can see here, the A route continuously finds space over the middle. I haven't had to go. You basically want to read this from the inside out. The running back will always be available. That's just something that you just have to remember. That's something that will always get open the rb route pretty much always get open you really just reading from middle out and there really isn't a defense for all these routes but the the tight ends are running are really unstoppable like i said the running back beats man it beats zone you're going to get that against just about anything that's really one of the things that gives people a lot of problems is that running back route so that's the easiest way to run it if you don't really know what you're looking at but you can really run specific routes against specific defenses so let's start off with cover two like i was saying we'll contain a match we're gonna go with tampa two this play here you can have a lot of success with cover two you got to make some motions but you can really hit a home run one play touchdown against cover two on both sides of this formation you want to pretty much make sure that you're just running from a hash mark to the open side of the field this guy here, you can motion him out, put the RB route on the streak, and you're going to see this B route here will have a lot of success. Although this is not the most explosive play against cover two because I'm doing it with a tight end, you can have a lot of success doing that. So in the past, I've done that motion uh, when it comes to some of the run plays. So you can still do that. You can still motion this guy out and run the ball this way so your opponent doesn't think uh, that that's going to be a pass play. It's not a dead giveaway, something like the power O say. Um, you can run this, motion this guy out, and essentially uh, it'll look like you're running 
running the ball. So you can easily mix that in. But we're going to continue uh, with the pass play because I think that even though I'm doing this with a relatively you know, average speed tight end, I could probably hit a one-play touchdown here. If you have a really fast tight end, you could easily hit a one-play touchdown here. If you got like a Darren Waller or something like that. But let's go ahead and let's run this. Like I say, just waiting for him to cross that cornerback and then your bullet pass leading outside. I'm not going to force it. I, I can try to pass lead it up a little more, but that can put the safety in play. So I'm just going to be happy with that. But the really explosive play is going to be on the other side. So let's go to the other hash mark. Let's know where we are on the field. And let's go ahead and let's do the exact same thing. We're going to do on the other side now. So we're going to motion this guy across. We can motion him across or the B route, I think. Although realistically, I think the B route uh, is in the backfield. So motion this guy across. Put him on a streak. That's all you got to do. The X route here, you're going to see once he gets past that cornerback, he doesn't really get zone chucked. And it's a very explosive one-play touchdown. It's made even easier because it's Tyreek Hill, obviously. But that will work with just about anybody. Because the way that this route is structured, you can see it arcs away from the safety. So even without the motion, I mean, a Tyreek Hill, because of his speed, could have the same success success uh realistically but it's not a one play touchdown as you can see i didn't really quite get there but that's something like if you're playing in mutt you got to make that motion like i said if you have a huge speed advantage and regs or something like that this will work as long as he doesn't really get zone chuck you can see he's just too fast you can bullet pass it outside that's really where the route comes into play i'll probably take him out of the game and put somebody else in so it's not so obvious since we all know that uh, tyree kills a chico we're going to run the rest of this video with byron pringle so let's motion this guy over again put him on a streak this is going to be the way that you have to run it when you don't have a huge speed advantage as you're going to see now Byron Pringle is just going to get outside the same way and we're still going to have a very explosive one play touchdown against cover two although he still got caught because like I said the pass lead leads me to the sideline also can have a lot of success against cover two man so let's go ahead and let's go to that next we're just going to pick a base cover two man so we went ahead and switched out to McCall Hardman because against cover two man I'm going to need somebody a little bit better than Byron Pringle and I couldn't find somebody with like average speed like 92 to 93 speed would have been ideal but I already chose the Chiefs so it is what it is so here we go one more time like I said we got that streak the the speed of Hardman should be more than enough to get past that cover two you can see we're getting a very big play because once again that route gets around the cover two corner you're going to get this look pretty much every single time because it's an outside release he's going to basically get around him and have enough speed to basically just bullet and pass lead to the sideline and the safety is nowhere near able to make a play you can have success on the other side as well once again make sure you just run from a hash mark and then Kelsey, you're going to need a better tight end. I can't just have like a, a, a slow nobody tight end running this. But if you have a decent tight end, you're going to have the same success because this route's going to get outside of that press once again. That's where all the success comes from when it comes from cover two cornerbacks is the pressing ability. And this completely goes around just like the route on the other side does. So let's go ahead and let's see. You can see he just runs right around. The cornerback never gets hands on him. And he's gone. I can throw it before he even gets 10 yards down the field. He's about seven yards down the field and I'm wide open. Like I said, you're going to need a better tight end to run this because typically he's going to be matching one of the better cornerbacks and that's going to be uh, something that's not going to favor you but if you have a decent tight end running this route you're going to be successful so we're going to do that one more time like i said just to show you it's not a fluke obviously travis kelsey is a little bit of a chico but he's not like he's that fast and then you can see boom he gets around that and you know this guy has enough speed that he could probably be gone a fast enough tight end you got close to a nice speed tight end he could be gone so multiple routes on this play have the ability to kind of be one play touchdowns depending on what you're looking at that includes uh man coverage so let's go and let's pick that and we're going to continue with cover one hole pretty much every route here can beat man coverage as well we already went over the running back and the a route the x route I mean, if you have enough of a speed advantage can really get gone too but that's just based off of speed i don't really think that's something that i could advertise is is a, is a one play touchdown but you can see against the a slower cornerback it's going to be gone but on this play if you throw this in the break the rb route will be open against just about any uh you know coverage you can see right there even at derwin james lit up and he still just dots him up. So we watch this around the replay. I mean, it's something that's, you know, cover one just makes sure nothing gets behind him. That's kind of how it is. And when he breaks right here, I'm already throwing it. I guarantee if I go back to the quarterback, the ball's already coming out of my hand. As you can see, and it looks like he's covered. He's got somebody in his, in, in his area. But if you throw it in the break, he will basically uh, leave whoever's defending him in the dust. And this is Derwin James lit up best, one of the best safeties in the game going against an average tight end at best. Not even a below average tight end. He's like a 64 overall. And he's getting beat because of that route. This play also can do some pretty glitchy stuff against cover three. It's pretty much every defense. Cover three and cover four have the same reaction. But let's go and let's pick cover three sky. Same thing. We're going to motion this guy out here. And we're going to put this RB route on the streak. Same setup as the cover two. Now you're going to see how, number one, the RB route will get open right up the seam, which is a good play. Um, I probably should have safe caught that, though. I'm not expecting a touchdown on that play, but it's a very good cover three play. Then, K 
Kelsey's really also a good play here. As you can see, the entire defense, when I motion him out, by the way, which is something that's going to be important when it comes to the run plays, the entire defense shifts away. That helps because I'm basically going to do a quick throw to Kelsey here underneath for a big uh, big pickup. As you can see, he's basically just open for a real quick throw underneath the uh, cornerback, which pretty much just drops out of the picture. So there's two ways you can attack cover three here. Neither one are a one-play touchdown like some of the other things I showed you. But you really have the ability to run this play in a multitude of ways. There, I waited a little bit longer so I get the ball to the field. But you can see I'm getting 15 to 20 yards uh, underneath cover three very easily. And that throw underneath also works against cover four, although I don't think there's a cover four in this particular formation. So I'm going to have to go find a cover four, probably in the dollar. Let's go ahead and let's find it in here somewhere. There we go. We'll cover, go cover four drop. Same thing. I'm going to motion this guy out. It's going to have that same effect. Put the RB route in the street. The RB route's not going to work. I mean, I could just put him on a drag or something. But ultimately, I mean, I could have left him alone too, but ultimately I'm getting outside of the cover four once again, getting underneath it and outside of it. The streaking tight end though can help uh, pull that cornerback back. Anytime there's a streak in the area, the cornerback and the safety will both react. Uh, as you can see right here, we're just going to get that ball to space. So, you know, very simple, very easy pass, uh, very, you know, easy yards against pretty much any zone coverage. And then last but not least, we also have a very good cover four play. When I say cover four, I mean cover four match. We'll go ahead and we'll go try to go back to 4-3 because we want to at least stay with a matching look or at least at 3-4. And we'll go with the uh, cover for quarters. Now, once again, if you have a speed advantage, the X route will work. Uh, ultimately, this is going to be a lot like the cover one man. As you can see, they, it reacts the same way. It will get past it if you have enough of a speed advantage, but not everybody has that. But what makes this play super glitchy against cover for quarters is the B route. The B route actually gets forgotten by the cornerback, and here actually gets covered by the quarter flat, which is not going to work out because typically there's not as much athleticism. So that's something that you can have an easy one play touchdown against on the other side as well. Typically, these quarter coverage defenders cover routes that only go over 10 yards. So the first route that goes over 10 yards is going to be the tight end on the inside that's going to be the one that he takes that leaves bosa the quarter flat which typically only covers the short routes to take over and basically turn to a man match on Kelsey and at this point he's already gone like I said a little bit of a speed advantage is nice Kelsey's not the fastest tight end but if you have like a Darren Waller or something like that you can run this against just about any defense in the game now my next favorite play is probably the PA tight end seam it's another passing play you can see I've only run it three times this year it's something that I've run a lot more in the past once again tired of it kind of bored of it both of these plays are kind of old in my opinion uh, but ultimately, 33 yards of play. Can't argue with the results. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3 once again. This play here, I mean, I can run it just like this, but I find it's best to put the B route here on a drag. And I also find it's best to put the X route on a streak, although sometimes I leave that X route doing what it's doing because it's a good man beater. But ultimately, I have a good man beater in the drag, so I don't really need that. The A route is really where it's at. You're going to see he's going to beat just about every man or zone, although the drag does too. That's really the, the emphasis about this play is both of these routes. The drag and the uh, RB route, I'm sorry, the drag and the A route will both be just about any man or zone. I could block, if I want to, I could block the B route as well, although I find that that um, isn't 100% necessary. As you can see here, once again, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Like I said, I just chose random. I'm not reading the defense at all. I can basically just watch these two routes, and one of them will get open every single time. So let's go and let's do this again. Looks like we might have a blitzer coming off the side here. If I want to, like I said, I can motion this guy across. In the previous passing play, I did some motions, so it shouldn't be too much of a tell. Here you can see we got that blitz coming off the edge. And once again, boom, we have a play that gets open at about 30 yards so it's something that if your opponent sets their zone drop depths it can be an issue but then you'll have your drag so you know this is something that um, you can definitely run against just about any defense but like I said beware of the zone drop depths so here we go once again it looks like we have an all-out blitz and we're getting the tight end open once again like I said doesn't really matter this play is fully functional you only really need two routes and this play is fully functional against just about any defensive look as you can see, we had an all-out blitz there, and it still had success. So, like I said, I'm not really looking at what we're looking at here. Here, I can just basically float this ball up. I can see this guy's constantly reacting to the drag and getting sucked down to a point where he's not really in a good spot to be covered. And you can see how this play can beat any defense. I'm not really looking at the defense. I have no idea. I could run this play blindfold right now, and it's going to have the same success. Like I said, the only thing that can really give it trouble, as you can see right here, we have a man coverage. The only thing that can give it trouble is a, is a set zone drop depth through about 25 to 30 yards. That can get in the way of it. But like I said, when you're looking at this play compared to the uh, the tight end attack, because most of the routes on this play get open on the right side, where most of the routes on this play get open on the left side. So it's a really good counterbalance to the first offensive play. So then last but not least, we have the two run plays. The power O is definitely the best. I'm going to pick that. We're going to continue to go random 3-4. Now what makes this formation so glitchy is the three tight ends essentially controls the defense. 
I'm always, when I run this play, I'm always going to flip it pretty much every single time because this defense is out of alignment based off of the three tight ends. When I motion this guy across, you can see they shift back, and now I don't really have an advantage anymore. So it's really up to me. I get to control where I want my advantage to be. If I want to run it like it is, if I want to go in that direction, all I have to do is motion this guy out. You can see now I have more space to that direction. So I can run it this way, although this is really not the best way to run it. As you can see, there really isn't a ton of space. So the best way to run this, because the defense is, is basically uh, pulled to the right, is basically just flipping the, the play with the left stick and now running it to the open space, which you can see here. The guard will come over and pick up that linebacker, and I typically have nothing but sprinting space to the edge. It's going to be best against like cover threes and cover fours because the cornerbacks drop back as well, but you're going to see how a lot of times I mean, you can take this up the middle here, too, if that area presents itself. But a lot of times, it's just a sprint to the edge, and that's all you really got to do. You can follow the guard a little bit if you want to, but a lot of times, I find it's just best to just, you know, there, the, the, the linebacker was kind of coming down and filling outside. So that's really your only read, because there's nothing immediately out here. A lot of times, you just have to read the linebacker. Is he going to cut you off? Like, right here, he just comes right up the middle. There's nothing cutting me off out of here. So I can basically just sprint outside. You're just reading that middle linebacker. He's the only guy that can really get in the, in the way of a play like this. A lot of times, you'll have a gap right in this area, but... This it's something that I think EA kind of patched because this was a really overpowered run. Now it's just kind of a nice inside run to basically keep your opponent honest. But ultimately, you will get a lot of gaps from time to time. And a lot of times that guard will kick up to the next step like he did right there. That block is really key. If the guard double teams and moves to the next level like he did on that play, you'll have a lot of success. Because you're really going to be watching this guard pretty much every single time. This guy here a lot of times will double team at the point of attack. Try to push this guy out of the way and then get to the next level. If he gets to the next level, you will have the ability to get to the next level yourself. As you can see, I got almost down the field completely. If I had a little bit more speed, I might have been gone because the receiver, Tyreek Hill, did a great job of picking up that safety, which is also a block you can look for a lot of time. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more out of the Kansas City Chiefs offense, as always, out of their playbook, which I know is one of the more popular playbooks in the game, hit the like button let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below